inventory tracking is a central part of the Pyro configuration. Since this module works together with all the other modules, most of the inventory movements can be automated. An inventory configuration starts with the product management, but that topic will be covered in another video. One thing we can mention here is that all the item groups we configure will help us organize the inventory structure. Under inventory, you will find the following categories, stock on hand, inventory history, and incoming or outgoing memos. Pyrofusion can track all kinds of items, including raw materials, metals, stones, diamonds, and finished pieces. These items typically differ from each other in terms of characteristics, but we can flexibly handle any sort of item attributes such as measure units, ring sizes, diamond attributes, just to name a few basic ones. Some of our clients even use exotic materials like meteorites, while others track their molds on their inventory. The current inventory tab will show us the items and quantities we have on stock. From this screen, we can do inventory adjustments or item transfers from one inventory location to another. The quick export button allows us to export the data we see into an Excel sheet. Here you can specify different inventory or company locations or even lot numbers. You can also print tags for your inventory items here. These barcoded tags typically use the item SKU as the identification code. Like many other functionalities in PyroFusion, the item filter is also customizable. Besides having a default filter, we can set up attribute filters for each group. This way, the diamond group can get a diamond specific filter, while the ring group can get a ring specific filter. The inventory history is our ledger where all the inventory transactions are tracked. You can view all the transactions at once or just transactions within the specific item category. The reference number will always provide you with more information regarding that particular transaction. This transaction can be a purchasing movement, a memo movement or an item allocation to a sales order or a job order. Since memos are special transactions, these items also represent a special subdivision in your inventory. Every item we see in the incoming consignment section was received on a memo. We can return the items to the vendor, sell them, or use them in production. The outgoing consignments tab shows the outgoing memo transactions and history. Although these memo tabs show all the memo records, if we want to manage the memos, we have to go to the Memo Management screen. Memo Management will be discussed in a separate video. Inventory levels can be seen across the system where they are needed. For example, we can go to Purchasing and check the minimum stock levels. This feature will allow you to reorder items if the stock level falls below a certain minimum quantity. Available item quantities are also shown under sales orders, where you can decide if you want to pull the items from stock and invoice them, or create a purchase order or a job order. Inventory items can also be pulled when a new job order is being created. Select the Add Item from Inventory option if you wish to add a component directly from your inventory. This could be a stone, mounting or any other component.
please note that services can automatically trigger inventory movements. For example, the costing step can deduct the required metal quantity from your inventory. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. For a more detailed overview of our inventory module, please schedule a demo. Thank you.